Thank you. Then he's good looking enough to rope a genie. <laughs> you dirty dog. Ah, Pico. What I miss on the dirty dog? <laughs> yes, we do that a lot out here, but there's not, there's no crackheads out here right now. You're the only crackhead out here. Hey, look at Punky Pieman running the super incognito, guys. I'm back in the cut. I was going to say, I felt bad. It's Friday. Somebody said, means they didn't get paid today. That sucks. You know, you know. Listen to Punky Pieman crying like the punk fag that he is. Uh, ultra low audio, you know. He's in the cut. He's got no girls to hold his hand. Him and his boys got to feed it with the hole that just got filled number five this morning. TGIF boys. You want me to come see you, Frank? That's right. It's when you start to sell it because the government ain't getting their taxes. Hey, Frankie, somebody calling you out while you're on the key, man. Somebody's trying to conversate with you every time you key up. smoking in public, you're done. But you can have up to 27 grams in your possession in New York City's five boroughs and not get arrested. You're just not allowed to smoke in public. Richie Radio, my apartment is not public. My next door neighbor slapped his wife and 5 knocked on my door to ask me a question about those people. And I walked through walk the Frankie, if you cross the tomb of your threshold of your door and that spliff is lit, I can lock you up. But I'm never locking anybody up for smoking a weed or possessing weed. Understand the ramification of what I just said to you. in your door with a smoke spliff. Even if you do step through the threshold, you have the right to be secure in your own home. That's one of your rights. You're allowed to do anything you want in your own home. You can break two zillion thousand laws in your own home. Just don't get caught. Frankie, Frankie, listen to me. Right now, the way the law is in New York, you're allowed to have up to 27 grams of marijuana in your possession. However, just because I, I have you walking down the street and I have, I have you with about 18 grams in your pocket, I'm not going to take it from you, and I'm not going to lock you up. But that spliff that's behind your ear, if that was in your mouth and lit, I got you. That's a different story. I don't know. So I guess I'm going to be about making a still. I have a couple of guys at work 
that can solder up everything I need to make a, a stove. Hey, Johnny. The penalty is harsher for having the steel than it is for possessing over 27 grams of marijuana. Oh, but I can buy it. I can have it just because it's a, uh, you know, novelty piece. Doesn't mean because it's actually, it could be functional if you added water and sugar and, and corn. You know, doesn't mean if, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not illegal. Well, I got to say you're a man of my own heart there because you didn't say you were going to feed the rusty kraut and germs. You didn't say anything about potatoes. Thank you, Mr. Non-Potato Head. Potatoes makes that vodka shit. Yeah, we're not that much of a quiet, but I can't wait to tell you where I like the whiskey. Yeah, the vodka, that's for the ladies. Hey guys, I'm not sure, Frankie, but I could have sworn uh, I believe somebody's trying to have a conversation with you every time you key up. I don't know, the last six minutes and change of this video game could prove me to be the number one liar out here. Let me see if this duck pluck is getting out. Five, one, it's one, two, one, two. Man, this is an old radio. This is a 30 year old 148. Lord have mercy. Do we need to tell him it sounds like it's 50, it's so low and distorted, or we'll just let him listen to the Low Mercy video game? And they're not in the door. I gotta peek this plucker up. I think I gotta do some peeking on this. Where's my brother? He's texting me. I don't know, guys, but I'm out the door. Y'all have a good night. There's a couple of, there's one cheerleader out here fighting for affection. I don't think any of y'all are going to give it to him. I'm not. Peace out with Claire. Okay. Ooh, did you stay home? Crackhead free, junkie free out here. This is the way I like it. Oh, yeah. You guys hear something? That's terrible, Baba Booey. How... How you, and then I, and then Johnny Iron Man, disappointed Mr. Rap Patrol. That's terrible. Well, I didn't disappoint anybody because I talked to him on the phone. I told him I wasn't coming. But you guys, on the other hand, didn't answer first. And Big Boy said he was going, so uh, leave me out of this disappointment. Not that it's not a big deal, but whatever. Hey, all right, man, don't make me come over there, all right? You know what I mean by that. Because I texted him that I'm wussing, da-da-da-da, this, that, the other thing, and sorry. And then he texted me, just pass by. And, you know, yeah, 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 I didn't. All righty, all righty. Keep your diaper tight. Don't worry, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> yeah, waiting for that chunky Jamaican lady to come change my diaper already. Where? Where? No worry, you got your bottle there. It's warming up. Roger. Hey, listen, uh, you know, you gotta expect this shit, man. Well, I put a full fucking day in. I'm tired. And I had to drive somewhere after work and get stuck in traffic for two hours. So... Can't say anything. Yeah, you know what? Thinking about what you just said about traffic, yeah, that's something Rap Patrol does not have to deal with. You know, he's one of them willy-nilly dudes. Gotta get there early, he leaves early. Yeah, yeah, what traffic? Makes a freaking U-turn? Uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly, I'm drunk for the damn morning, morning, and on the way home, and it's like, where the effie is going, I hope to God you all went to work, and you're all paying taxes, I don't know why we, we're in such a deficit, what the hell is out here? Frankie, FYI, but I've been working on T tonight, two hours a night, every day this week. So I said, I've been uh, leaving at 5 o'clock, 5.30 from work, dealing with the same thing that you deal with. So I want to hear you crying out here. Yes, all right, so you get it halfway. That doesn't mean that you have to be there at, let's say, 8 o'clock, okay? You're there earlier than that, so you're beating everybody. Plus... Punky must be saying something real important to him. Me, five 
five minutes, two guys like me. No, you're there, you're done. When it's time, you're ready to go. You don't want to wait no more, you want to bust it out. I understand that. Let me clear my throat. And it's like, by the time I get halfway to the bridge, halfway over the bridge, it's 5 o'clock. But I was in my car at 4.32, let's say. Okay. Terrible, I tell you. I just... Oh, 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 oh. What do you say? you pass me and disappear me in your rear view and the next thing you see in your rear view is my red white and blues yeah Richie you're right but except if it's a fucking white dude then no if they're doing anything illegal yeah 5 is gonna do it but if they're having that thing go around what the fuck 5 ain't gonna bother them especially if it's like an SUV car hey is this true is this true that somebody ordered 35 UPS uniforms from eBay today or the other day? All comes down to discretion, Frank. What we want to do. True? Holy crap. You know what that means? Oh, I know clearly what it means, but I just want to verify it because a friend of mine got it across his telephone today as like an alert. And uh, the thing was that somebody purchased 35 UPS uniforms. Wow, the Muslims, they're going to try to impersonate UPS drivers. You know, one of my liberal friends today said to me, Hey, Frank, did you see this video? Whatever, whatever, he didn't show me nothing. And he don't talk like us. He has a, a heavy, heavy accent. But uh, they showed a video of uh, one of those ISIS dudes in Times Square. In that, that black uniform thing, wielding the knife? Wow. Yeah, so I think there's actually a, uh, I don't know, I didn't catch the news this evening, but uh, they may be warning us about making sure that they have proper, proper identification when they come to live or something. Oh, yeah, there's a big, uh, uh, but you know what? The Clintons say that's not a good idea. Oh, that's terrible. They're saying, oh, that brings us back to World War II with the with the with the with the, uh, with the Japanese. Yeah, dude, it, it, it shouldn't be from religion. It should be from region. But you know what? Muslims are the only religion that will not stand up, put their hand on their heart, and recite the Pledge of the Allegiance. You know, to the flag. They won't. So, if you're not going to take any kind of oath like that, 
Believe me, we don't need you in this country. You're here to take. So listen, tomorrow I'm actually going to buy a gas mask. Anybody else want one? I have a couple already. I gotta, I gotta purchase something else. I, I, I have to get a, a, a license because I know it's my Second Amendment right, but I like to do everything exactly right, you know? Thank you, but no thank you. Mine's original, official, genuine GI. Just like those clothes I sometimes sport. That's invisible to infrared. I'm clear. You're fucking lying, Richie. I thought that was made in a I didn't say yeah, anything no, wrong, that is story. Us. Yeah, and we're gonna deliver whoop ass. Uh, excuse me, I thought you just liked to dress in chocolate brown. Yeah, I hope it's a fucking UPS guy that's so excited he just got high and he figured it was a sale, he might as well get 35 of them. I hope. Thank you very much. Uniforms. I'm going to give them to my members of my band. We're going to be the UPS band. <laughs> oh, there's 35 guys on 31 band. I'd like to send them a present. Johnny, you slept, Johnny. Johnny Iron Man, you slept? Well? Do you slept? I don't sleep, I'm still here. No, 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 it's a Jewish term. I said schlep. It's a Hasidic term. Never mind. You could tell you didn't uh, work in Borough Rug and Carpet or Borough Park as a teenager. All of them. As soon as they, if they hear I'm going into my car, they all disappear. No, Richie said, do you schlep? So he's, thinking, he's asking if you do any kind of moving shit back and forth, back and forth. That's schlepping, you know? And that's what I said to some lady the other day. Oh, the schlepping's done. Now I can go to work. And she's like laughing. And I said, I had to schlep this shit here. I had to schlep it now into your bathroom or whatever. And now I can get to work. Hey, Frankie, schlepping was always better than the minimum wage. And, uh... The women always smell nice. <laughs> yeah, Frankie. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. Hey, Frankie. What well, fuck do you want in the video? I'm lifting all day. Yeah, well, lifting and then moving it to certain places. Hey, Frankie, do you like one thing? Oh, this? Oh, well, I don't... Oh, well, I don't do a lot of the schlepping, whatever the fuck you call it. You know the amazing thing? That ultra-low 30-year-old radio is more on frequency than his galaxy. <laughs> to show people where it goes, that's it. That's because it was unit and made. I have to show people exactly how the shit goes, and sometimes they do it wrong, and it fucking takes an hour and a half to redo what they fuck up, so... Can't get good help these days. I take XL, extra large there, uh, boy. Do they shrink? Extra large, what are you talking about, Magnums? No, we're talking about UPS uniforms. You got him drooling on his 30-year-old fart over there when you said Magnums, boy. Roger, and he jumped through the Magnum hoop de doop too. <laughs> the fast talking, slow walking, psychological king. Oh shit, he said he likes a what? With what? No, not like when you bend for the soap. No, so I, I don't bend over. Sure you do. I said over like Roger will go over. <laughs> you bend over? 
he's talking from first-hand knowledge. Don't you hear the conviction in his voice? That's the punky pie chick. Oh, Christina. Bob, on the job. What? Bob or slob? No, no, no. We don't want him to Bob or slob. Thank you. Kneeling Baba Booey. Bobbing Booey with the fucking booty call shit all over. Um, seagull shit. Yo, do you want to know? He wants to know if you want knee high socks or ankle high. The fuck? What do you want? A salesman for JC Penny or something? No, I'm just always asking these questions. No, tell him I don't want any fucking socks. I don't want anything. I don't want any knee high socks. Knee high socks. What the hell is that? Was this 1960? My 22s are a size medium. Do you ever see Frankie come out of his house with your son? He's got white socks all the way up to his kneecaps. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Oh, black socks. Black socks all the way up to his knees. Now remember back in the day? The higher the socks, the better. <laughs> The shorter the shorts, the better. Wow, what a contrast. Them fucking idiots. Tommy's like that, too. Oh, Tommy, is his uh, brother-in-law, same shit? Yeah, yeah, even today. No. Yeah. I don't do that. Nah, not today. Not in the last, I don't know how long. Maybe 20 years. Nah, I wear low socks if I got shorts on. But all you can see is about an inch of kneecap between the shorts and the socks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. That's almost the same distance from his eyebrows to his uh, tailline. Oh, I don't want to talk about those. They still almost want to connect after all these years, you know? That's what we Frankie, you need to want to see, Frank. No, no, my uni brow has to stay forever. That's the only thing I still have that's together. People looking, they keep looking, they go, what the, what the, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? A line across his eyes? No, that's his fucking little eyebrow. <laughs> It's a bandana. It's a unibrow. And you know what? That's how I can tell who all my children are, is by my unibrow. And I only have two. So I'm sure the girls take care of them, Frank. They don't leave them connected. Yeah, I know. I still tease them. No, no, no. They, they're very well groomed. In fact, again, they're probably a lot more mature than I am, and I tell them that all the time. And... That's an honor and a privilege for me, because then the knucklehead I am, you know, at least I was a authoritative figure to them, you know what I mean? Hey, John, I'd be fucked up. Two beautiful little kids with big uni brows. <laughs> yeah, talking about eyebrows, uh, Mr. Iron Man, you shouldn't talk. <laughs> uh, you got Dragon Eddie coming to fucking do yours. Dragon Eddie running a freaking lawnmower on your nose up to your freaking and stop. You better stop at the hairline, okay? Hola, Jerry. How do you guys look at this shit? I never look at anybody's eyebrows, especially guys. Who gives a shit? John, where did it come from? Oh, yeah, man. Where did it come from? It came from the Manny Petty Man. And, of course, he gets his eyebrows threaded. He don't get them plucked. He gets them threaded. Why not? Because they massage your face. They da 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 They dee 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 They put freaking oranges. They wipe oranges on his paws. Frankie, don't play the play. I hate the game. <laughs> I don't hate nothing, dude. If I float your boat, you work hard, you deserve any pebbling you think you see fit. That girl always talks about her eyebrows threading and shit. I'm like, what is she talking about? What are you going to stitch your fucking eyeballs closed? I don't understand. They see them with a freaking thread. They like twist the thread and rip them off. I 
I'm a guy. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Black forest. What are you talking about? They're crying over there, blowing up equipment and going into their gag bag. because of the couple of titles I have in the last three years with the word control. I control the cunts. You hear Punky crying over his blown up shit on his gag bag shit? The king is claw. people's equipment and the equipment they're convincing us they already bought or trying to buy and never get around to buy. Ah, uh, what happened, Punky? Um, uh, it got delivered and you sent it back? I'm kind of figuring what the plea cop's going to be on it. The video gate. Yeah, I ordered this in transit. I can't wait for it to get here so I can <laughs> start stage five. Maybe we'll start stage five with the hole that just got filled five. Ain't that a bitch. Beaten to submission in silence. Hey, uh, guys, I apologize, but, uh, I had to get in there for a minute, all right? I don't want y'all to do that ever. I love y'all, so do my video games, I'm clear. Well, we shut up because, you know, we step by because we don't like to be uh, interrupted or interrupting. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm back in the car. Screen, <laughs> so that's the only thing I got to my own name. That's it. And a supercomputer. <laughs> supercomputer.
that's because the brain is in so many five pieces. It's got five different sets of eyeballs. I know I could only watch one screen at a time. just wanted to say, if my father allows you to see 90 human, you're already blessed. Oh, absolutely, but you know what? Uh, you know, the spirit of the Lord in me says, you know, we'll see what's going to happen after 2017. Yeah, well, let's see. Mikey, you, you know what hurts me a lot? The thought of the fact that in my world, I'm still in the bassinet. 90, I'm still a toddler, and toddler where? I'm on the side. Yeah, all right there, Gil Hodges. And if you're still there at 90, and you look like you, then I'll believe you. Because then I'd be 89 or 87 and a half. So, yeah, we'll we'll see. And you know what, Rich? If we are, we're all going to be sitting around the campfire laughing our ass off about every video gate that we, you know, I don't like when the videos are, I don't want to know, 